Hello you wonderful people and welcome back to another video I've got new gloves They're RST Paragon 6 heated gloves Yeah I've got to say They're pretty good um, There you go that's the end of the review <laughs> But no seriously um, Yeah good heated gloves man Go, yeah, Good look at them now that I've stopped So RST first thing I've owned from RST RST Paragon 6 heated gloves so I've had them for about two weeks now the minute they came in the post like it stopped being cold <laughs> like it was it was still a bit chilly but it wasn't really cold to the point where I needed heated gloves so I was kind of annoyed because I was like how am I gonna review these gloves when it's not even cold but thankfully last night and another night a few nights ago was pretty cold and I was able to do a bit of testing and I will share my results with you now so it was about minus one degrees that's Celsius by the way so minus one degree Celsius I'll put what it is in Fahrenheit on the screen somewhere you know that's pretty cold to be riding in and I was riding for about 45 minutes so at, at high speeds as well so 45 minutes at high speeds minus one degree Celsius so you know pretty pretty cold yeah these gloves surprised me because they don't do what I thought heated gloves do my idea of heated gloves were whilst you're riding your hands are gonna be super toasty and warm they're never gonna even feel a bit cold or a bit chilly it's gonna feel like your hands are in a little oven like you're gonna feel nice and comfortable and warm like when you take your hands out of the gloves when you finish riding your hands will be like hot to the touch <laughs> I thought that's how they would feel and I was surprised to find out that that isn't at all <laughs> that isn't at all how it feels they don't really keep your hands warm and toasty they just prevent your hands from freezing <laughs> that's it so when you're riding you can still feel the cold your hands will still feel cold but they just won't freeze and I was kind of disappointed at first but then I realized that's actually really really good it's really handy actually if you don't want frozen fingers that you can't even pull in the levers with because your fingers are so numb you won't get that with these gloves well not at the temperatures I rode at anyway <laughs> I have I'm still yet to test it in extremely cold temperatures um, I do think we have some cold weather coming up um, in the next few weeks that I should be able to test it with but I will keep you guys updated but I'll talk about that a bit later so I might as well talk about how these gloves work and all of that good stuff uh, in terms of the quality of the gloves um, I'm gonna be honest I mean the gloves I was wearing before this that you see in all my other videos they cost 20 pounds 20 British pounds <laughs> uh, so they, they were cheap gloves um, and to be honest um, these were 150 quid pretty much they don't feel much higher quality than the 20 pound gloves <laughs> like I was thinking if I'm gonna buy gloves for 150 pounds 150 quid there would be a big difference in quality between these and my old 20 pound gloves but but no not really <laughs> it's kind of the same the same quality if I'm being honest though I will say I do think these even without the heat on they are slightly warmer they do keep my hands slightly warmer even without the heating on and I don't see them lasting very long in fact I got a comment from someone who saw these gloves in the last video I did because um, I did show them in the last video as well and he was asking me how mine are holding up because um, it looks like theirs <laughs> are falling apart and that doesn't surprise me just looking at them I can tell yeah this isn't anything crazy I mean obviously these aren't the best heated gloves you can get I mean they're still on the cheaper side in terms of heated gloves so one thing I do like that they have which I mean might be a novelty feature to some <laughs> so like here there's little blades so you can just kind of wipe rain and water off your visor and <laughs> I thought it was going to be a stupid little novelty item that wouldn't even really work properly but you know what <laughs> they're actually pretty effective like anytime it's raining or there's water in my visor I just wipe them and it would help if I went into gear that was embarrassing <laughs> and it actually does a good job of wiping off the water off of off of the visor so yeah they're actually a good little feature actually I like those in terms of the protection on the gloves you've got this kind of material here like a shell hard kind of shell material um, and you've got some like padding on the inside of the gloves and on the fingers on the outside I should look where I'm going whilst I'm riding 
but to be honest not as much padding and as protection as as i would like i would prefer a bit more padding and protection than this okay i'm going to be cheeky i don't know how much time i just saved but <clears throat> that felt good all right yeah so not as much padding as, as protection as i would like on this gloves but i mean i'm sure it's enough <laughs> in case i have a little tumble um let's get onto the actual heating so as you can see there's a power button right there on the top of um the back of my hand and here as well you have to hold it for three seconds and then it will go straight to the highest setting the hot the hottest heat setting which i believe is 60 degrees celsius i think then 50 degrees is the second setting and then the lowest setting is 40 degrees there's a red light it's quite bright today so you might not see that red light but i assure you there is a red light on that glove maybe you can see it now i don't know oh my hand's getting hot i don't even really want the heat on because it's not that hot. it's not cold today <laughs> no my hand is getting hot and then if i press it again it's gone green i think <laughs> and then if i press it again it's gone amber that doesn't make any sense i think it was red then amber and now it's green <laughs> that makes all sense so there you go uh that's that's how they work and then if you press it again it goes back to red back to amber and then back to green and it just keeps cycling through and then to turn them off again you have to hold it for three seconds just like you did to turn them on and there you go they're off no light so let's talk about how effective those heat settings are i'm going to start from the bottom to the top the lowest heat setting is pretty much pointless <laughs> like if it's cold you will not use the lowest heat setting you will not feel anything really like it's very unnoticeable i would say having these gloves on the lowest heat setting is the equivalent to having really good winter gloves just normal winter gloves without any heating so if you just got really good winter gloves that would be the equivalent of having these on the lowest setting <laughs> like it's 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 just a little bit warmer than if you didn't have heat in the gloves that, that's literally it um so i didn't really find much use with them i tried riding in the cold with the lowest setting and after like 20 minutes i was like nope <laughs> i just switched up tire because i was feeling uncomfortable for no reason um the middle setting that's actually a good setting um i would say for most cold weather unless it's like extremely cold the middle setting will actually be all right like it's actually okay as i said though when you're riding you're not going to necessarily feel oh, time to go Again, I'm not sure how much time I saved, but that felt good. With the middle setting, as I was saying before, they're not going to keep your hands warm. Like, you're not going to feel like they're toasty and really by the fire or anything like that. It's just going to stop your fingers from freezing up. It just means you can last longer in the ride. You know, you don't have to stop riding sooner than you want to because oh, my fingers are getting too cold. You can power through. For quite a lot longer because your hands won't get to that final critical stage of okay they're numb i can't feel anything i can't move them and i've been there i have been there many times uh, where my fingers just get to that final point where i'm like i can't do anything with my hands <laughs> like my hands are finished i get home and i can't open my front door because my hands are finished the middle setting will prevent you from getting to that stage like your hands will still feel a bit cold but they won't feel no they won't get to that stage where you're in pain essentially and then the highest setting the 60 degrees one is pretty good it's pretty hot um although <laughs> the way these gloves heat up is kind of uncomfortable if i'm being honest um <laughs> it it almost feels like your hands being burnt with acid to me that's what it feels like to me anyway it's like it's not like a very comforting heat it's the, the heating elements in the gloves 
I think they're like thin little strips of wire or something that just <laughs> get very hot so it's like it's quite it doesn't burn you obviously but it is quite intense on your skin if you have sensitive skin it, it might actually kind of bother you I don't have sensitive skin but it, it even still kind of it, it felt it took a while to get used to at first my my hands felt tingly when I, when I was using them because the way it heats up your hand but that's just a minor nitpick but there's something I thought I'd mention when you're riding in the cold you don't actually feel that heat as much again like what I said with the middle setting it kind of just prevents your hands from getting really cold that's what it is so it's like <laughs> they're called heated gloves but you don't really feel like you're wearing heated gloves when you're wearing them you just feel like you're wearing gloves that prevent your hands from freezing <laughs> I think that's a more accurate name for them they're gloves that prevent your hands from freezing not so much heated because it doesn't feel like your hands are being heated but to tell if I was really feeling a difference with the heat I purposefully turned them off during the cold and boy oh boy did I feel a difference <laughs> so if you're wondering if the heat is actually effective in these things oh yes 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 I've been I've been spoiled now I've experienced this I don't think I could ever go back to normal gloves <laughs> like I've been spoiled now these feel great like these outer edges of the hands they don't get really warm and the little finger as well doesn't get as warm as the rest I will say the gloves fit comfortably they fit fine now maybe I could have got a slightly bigger pair because I have fat fingers so maybe it's because I have fat fingers but I will say especially in the right hand the heating element the strips the heating element strips in the glove they press against my middle finger quite a lot and it does feel a bit uncomfortable like even when I take the gloves off there's like the imprint of the wire from the heating element element in my in my finger so that kind of sucks again another nitpick and that's probably my fault I if I got a bigger pair then that probably wouldn't have happened or maybe I could just mess around and kind of try and move the wire around in the glove see if that would help but in terms of comfort that's the only nitpick I would say other than that though uh, pretty good gloves um, the battery fits in here so there's a battery here there's a battery here you unzip this there's a little plug you plug the battery in and it's just there it is a bit bulky here you can probably even see it you can see that the battery is, it's pretty bulky it takes a while to get used to I don't really like it but what are you gonna do there has to be a battery in there somewhere um, and yeah I think the batteries uh, if I remember they take two hours to charge or three either two or three hours to charge and the batteries can last for four hours on the lowest heat setting and 2.5 hours on the highest heat setting I don't know where you're riding for more than two and a half hours in the cold <laughs> so I, I mean it's pretty good and I, I have used them I haven't used them on the highest setting for for a straight two and a half hours to test it but I have used them until they've died so I fully charged them and I used them and I alternated between um, the highest setting and the middle setting I was commuting to work you know throughout the week and I would occasionally use it so the time that the gloves were on was about three hours when the battery is going low the lights on the gloves will start to flash and then they'll eventually turn off when they're dead there's a little strap here to adjust how tight it is but there's no strap on the gauntlet part which I actually like I hate when there's straps on the gauntlet part of the gloves because if you've watched some of our other videos <laughs> mine used to come undone all the time so yeah good riddance <laughs> but that's it to be honest in terms of the glove review if you're wondering how these compare to heated grips like what's better these or heated grips I couldn't tell you because I've never used heated grips <laughs> so um, uh, sorry I can't make that comparison for you guys um, I would imagine heated grips are better now that I've got heated gloves I'm not really eager to get heated grips I feel like now I've got these I don't really need heated grips I've got new gloves now and again I have to see how they perform long term so I'm going to make an update on this review in the future uh, about how the gloves hold up um, I also haven't ridden them in the rain um, I'm in a little bit of rain but not proper rain so I don't really know if they're waterproof because they're supposed to be waterproof I forgot to mention that so I'm going to test all of that stuff yeah I'm going to start making more motor vlog update videos and the update series is just going to be where you can uh, 
hear me talk about any updates I've made to the bike or to the channel or to my gear and any follow-up opinions about any of that stuff so if you have any questions about the bike um, any of the mods um, any of my gear how things are going all that kind of stuff that's where you'll find them I'll be posting any updates that I want to share with you guys about how I feel about certain stuff in those motor vlog update videos um, and I will be talking about my experience with the gloves so make sure you're subbed to get more information don't know why you'd watch this video and then think I'm gonna sub to this guy he can barely form a sentence half of you probably couldn't care less about heated gloves <laughs> but that's the video so hope you enjoyed it the rest of the video I'm just gonna be having a chill ride so if you want to join me on this chill ride you are free to join me um, I might try to take some pictures actually I need to take some pictures of this bike I had to I mean I had to you may think I didn't have to but I had to